Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Die Hard Dungeon. The game has been updated. I don't know what the updates are. Um, I haven't looked to see if the developers given that information away. So um, maybe we'll see as we go on. One thing that hasn't been changed is the infamous stuttering slash freezing problem. Um, I noticed that as I was starting the game, it froze for a few seconds. So that clearly hasn't been fixed, which is a problem. But anyway, let's just get on with this. As usual, when we've been away and come back, we have to go in search of our chest before we can begin the adventure proper. Uh, nothing much in there, just a gold key. Still don't know what those things do. I assume it's something in the end game, but I don't know for sure. Okay. Play the chest opening game. Zero, as usual, because my chest opening luck is rubbish. Get out of the way. Where's the chest? There it is. Okay. And just save this big pansy, as usual. Okay. So now we're actually beginning properly. Okay. Room full of boxes. That's par for the course for Die Hard Dungeon, as you will be aware if you've been watching. So, oh no, he made me drop my weapon. God damn it. Get back. Okay. <clears throat> Continue bashing up the boxes because sometimes they contain bonus hearts and things, and that's worth looking for. Got some treasure and the key. Don't know where the keyhole is, but it'll be around somewhere. Managed to put down those red guys before they caused me any trouble. So, just continue bashing these boxes open in search of hearts. But with no luck, so let's just proceed. Okay. Still um, just trundling through the early stages of the game. As you'll know if you've been watching previous episodes, these first few rooms... But that's new. Huh, maybe they've actually added a new enemy type. A guy with a pot on his head. Um, I was going to say, as you'll know if you've been watching um, before, the first floor is generally nothing remarkable. It's pretty much just these green guys over and over. So, get rid of those and move on. But uh, yeah, that is an enemy type I haven't seen before. That's okay. The trapdoor game is better labelled now. Uh, okay. Alright, let's see if we can get this first power up then. We should be able to get this one really, because it's not difficult this first time. Um, it's the second one, particularly the third one, that actually caused me problems. Okay, just keep dodging, putting out fire. Um... And putting out fire is one of the things that happens when you get the Houdini ability that lets you hide in the chest. I haven't really had a chance to try it out since I found that out, but um, I was told by the developer, so I assume that's accurate. Okay, just a few more fires, and then go and get the ability. There we go. So we've got increased damage and range. It doesn't seem to make an enormous difference, but it is slightly noticeable, so... That's all good. Need to put down this rubbish swordsman here. And another chest game. Let's see if we can get something other than zero. Two! Excellent. Got nothing there, though. Oh, and we've got rage. Do some damage. Um, so that increases our damage here. I think the effect's only temporary. I could be wrong, but it does seem like it wears off after a while. But temporary... Bonus is still better than no bonus at all. Let's get out of the room before the red guys piss me off. Another pot-headed swordsman. Oh no, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. And the enemy's more on fire. Oh god. Oh, oh it's like the towering inferno in here. And yes, I'm referencing old films for no good reason. Okay, so I'll just grab the key and go in search of the lock. So that's fine. Um, need to rescue the chest again, of course. Is bound to happen sooner or later. Put out the blue fire to get some more treasure. And we've got a heart here. So let's just go. 
And we're at the boss. Which is presumably this guy, yeah. Mr. Illusion, as usual. Oh, we don't have the gun yet, so we'll have to run over there and get it. Okay. So, as usual, fire our blue bowling balls at this stamping duck. Oh god. My aim is not great. Firing diagonally is pretty tricky with this thing, actually. Ah, oh, god! Ugh! Ugh! Get out of my face! Um, sorry, that will make no sense in the context of the video. A fly just flew into my face. Or may have been a small moth or something, I'm not sure. Mosquito. Uh, okay, continue shooting the duck in the face with bowling balls. Not a sentence you generally utter, unless you're someone who makes Let's Plays for YouTube. Okay, let's continue popping these out. And eventually he will go down. He's surprisingly resilient. But his days are numbered. Well, his seconds are numbered, I suppose. Somehow managed to avoid taking any damage so far, which is uh, not a minor feat for me. Okay. Oh, nice ricochet shot there. And grab this health. Come on. Down you go, Mr. Illusion. You must be almost dead. Continue. Come on, a couple more shots should do it, I think. And the gold dropping creature is out. So we can get a, a load of treasure and get that much closer to upgrading our chest to the next level. Usually you have to pay a skilled surgeon to upgrade your chest to the next level. Ho ho. Okay, well, I do prefer. Oh, an extra level's been added. Usually this is either sewers or underground, but now it's chambers or underground, so it looks like actually the update is pretty substantial, because they're adding entire new floors. And um, I should point out, it's for free. It's it's DLC in the sense that it's downloadable, but you don't have to pay for it. So I applaud you, Tricktail. Anyway, let's go and explore the chambers, since that's brand new. And play the trapdoor game straight away. Hopefully actually get the next skill. Um, I fail to get it more often than I succeed, but I live in hope. They pulled off some kind of flanking maneuver there. That was a little eerie. Ah, but they're just sort of doubling back. <laughs> For a second there, I thought they were going to just continue mirroring each other. It was getting a little eerie in a, a midwitch cuckoo's way but with chests rather than creepy children. Okay. So, we'll just keep dodging around the chests. And if you recall, the last couple of times I've successfully extinguished the fires, I've not got the power, but this time we did get the power. So, oh god. Sorry, I just had a He-Man flashback there. No one wants that. Those of us who grew up in the 80s will remember that. Okay, another pot-headed guy, so we'll just fling knives at him until he dies. Come on. Yeah. Okay, and put out the poisonous mushrooms. So far, the chambers seem very much like the sewers, except for the wallpaper. Come on. Die, please. Okay. Continue hacking through all these green mushroomy things, and we've got time for a chest game here. And we get... One. Okay, that gives us a heart. It's not... Oh no, that's Heartbreaker. That's good, actually. Um, as you may remember from previous videos, I like that power. It seems to increase the chances that enemies will drop hearts when you kill them. So that's very, very welcome, because that not only means that you have a supply of health for when you take damage, it means you actually end up with a higher maximum health. Because if you pick up a heart when you're already at max, then that increases your total max health. Anyway, stand on the switch, so that opens the door. Not going to bother blowing up that skull and crossbones chest, I don't see any point. Avoid the arrow traps and just leave the room. Okay, so we have a giant swordsman here, we'll just keep knifing him in the head until he drops his shield, and then knife him in the head some more until he dies. Uh, generally a good strategy for dealing with enemies, I think. Okay, a bit more treasure. 
Right, so all this lot more health. Um, we've been slowed down by the annoying poison mushroom thing, but haven't taken any damage from it, so that's alright. Just keep hammering the button until we finally kill this mushroom in a year. Okay, we've got another switch here, so this is probably going to be a switch activated door again, uh, which is okay. Need to put this out quickly. Uh, so there's the other switch, and let's just go. Alright, a couple of spike traps. Don't need to worry too much about that. Just start taking out some mushrooms. And this one, before it shoots at us. Okay, more health. So we're doing quite well on the health front, which is <laughs> not that usual for me, I have to say. Doing pretty well on the treasure front as well. We haven't had a chest upgrade yet, but I feel like it can't be that far away now. Because we have been getting quite a lot of treasure. Um, but of course, the second chest upgrade is really the one I'm interested in. The one where the chest actually starts attacking. Um, because although it's not a great fight, it's, it's definitely beneficial to have that um, extra form of attack. So hopefully we'll get that pretty soon. Okay, let's continue hacking at the poison mushroom. I always feel a little irritated when I take damage because it means that the next heart I pick up won't increase my total health but will just heal me. I mean the effect is much the same all in all. Um, but it's it's psychological. I feel like it's less of a benefit if it just heals me. Okay, keep dodging him. Let him impale himself on the spike trap. Don't know if it actually damages him, but certainly um, it's worth a go. Okay, get some more treasure in the hope of getting the chest upgrade sooner. Don't want to open that thing. So let's just... Yeah, there we go. So it should now be able to defend itself from those annoying green things that chase it. Two. So what have we got? Nothing. And... Scatter. Shrapnel damage. I think that causes your gun to do shrapnel damage. Like this. Yeah, it explodes into four-way shrapnel. So that's fine. Not at the boss yet. I thought we were going to be at the boss just there, but evidently we still have a little way to go yet. Come on, put that down. Break through all this stuff. Because again, the more treasure we get, the sooner our chest will be able to start attacking, as well as defending itself. Okay. So we need to put this thing down. I'll start using my shrapnel gun. Hopefully that will, yeah, do a number on it. And for the first time in a few rooms, we've got a straightforward key room. Um, so pop that in the keyhole. In a second, there we go. And leave. And we're still not at the boss. I really thought this was going to be the boss room. Okay, hack through the poison mushroom. Come on. Okay. And bash this lot up. Get some more treasure, hopefully. No. But there's a bit more up here, so that's fine. And we need to find the key. Um, haven't seen it yet. So it could be in one of these two. Yeah, there it is. So just pop that in the keyhole. And get out. We've pretty much cleaned out this room, I think. Ugh, still not the boss. I really... Every time I leave a room at the moment, I feel like it's going to be the boss next. Because so I feel like we've been on this floor for quite a long time at this point. Okay. So... Oh, shit. That was stupid. I nearly said that was stupid damage, but... Um, Although some people appreciate the reference, I don't want to take flack for stealing another man's catchphrases. Um, some of you, I know, are familiar with that catchphrase and its uh, originator. 
Oh god, I'm actually on fire and I've dropped my sword. Ugh, the horror. Okay. So, need to put this poison mushroom out of its misery, or out of our misery at least. Um, okay, where's the keyhole? Not down here, evidently. Again, taking some unnecessary damage here. So let's take it out on these mushrooms. Die, mushroom, die! You should be on pizza, not in the middle of the floor. Okay. So hopefully we'll get some health back soon, because I've been taking unnecessary hits. And I don't feel good about that at all. Okay. Uh, well, we've seen the key and the keyhole, so let's just do that straight away and deal with the rest of the room in a minute. Oh, come on, out of the way. Okay. So, also make him drop his shield from a distance by throwing our knives at him. Which is by far the easiest way to deal with these guys. They are much, much easier to fight when you have this second trapdoor game power up. Destroy the poison mushroom. Destroy the normal storage mushrooms. <laughs> Whatever a storage mushroom is. And come down here for a bit more health, a bit more treasure, and a gold key. Now, might as well break that one and then leave the room. And it's the boss at last. So we're up against Stumpy. Uh, the same as in the sewers. So. I don't know, is the chamber actually just a renamed sewer? I don't know. Disappointing if so, but never mind. It's not a big problem either way. So, this is the guy where you have to use the gun to get his head off his body and then attack his body while it's decapitated. Took a needless hit there, but we can get some help back. Got Houdini, um, which, as you'll remember from previous videos, I had not figured out. I didn't know what the effect of it was, but the developers told me Partly um, it lets you put out fires, and partly it lets you travel underneath um, spike traps and, I think, flying enemies and that sort of thing. So there's the um, gold spilling creature, so that's good, because it will actually get us that little bit closer to um, having a chest that will actually fend for itself. I don't think Stumpy is going to be a big problem. I actually find him a much easier boss than the equivalent on the underground level. Um, I find that quite an irritating boss to fight, whereas Stumpy is reasonably straightforward once you know the key. So grab all this treasure, grab another gold key, and proceed to the next floor. So, do we want the temple or infested? Um, again, I think it's much of a muchness regarding difficulty, so let's go to Temple. And we've got a trapdoor game. Um, <laughs> number three is not going to be successful. I've never succeeded at the third trapdoor game. I think my strategy really is to stay in one place as much as possible. And um, although it's probably not the most efficient way time-wise, um, I think it's probably the best way of avoiding being caught, to just kind of stick to one corner uh, in the hope of staying away from them. Because the, the more I move around, the more likely I am to fall prey to these hostile red chests. Oh god, no, no. I don't know what the power-up is going to be um, when I do eventually succeed at this third trapdoor game. Um, because, of course, it doesn't tell you. You only find out once you actually are successful. And if I'm lucky, it might be this time. It might... Shit! One day, one day, Trapdoor Game 3, you will bow to me. If I can beat Gulin, I can beat you. Speaking of which, did you notice I uploaded a new episode of Gulin recently? For those of you who followed me back in the day. Oh, uh, okay. Um, treasure chest monsters. I forgot about these gits. It seems they stamp a lot, which is irritating. Um, I don't know how much damage it does to me, but it's irritating to experience. Sort of jolts me. Okay, continue fighting the pot-headed swordsman. 
break the blue fire, if you can be said to break fire at all. And get the gold key. Um, oh, also, incidentally, um, I've heard that this game is currently four levels long. So um, I have got to, or we have got, you and I, viewers, to the boss of the third floor um, in a previous video. So we've actually got a lot closer to finishing the game than I thought we had. I I thought it would be something like six, seven floors, maybe eight floors. But it's actually apparently four floors, uh, which is a little disappointing. But um, to be fair, the game is pretty challenging, and for 80 Microsoft points, I mean, I, I don't subscribe to the opinion of... Um, you don't need a game to have much content when it's only 80 Microsoft points. But of course it is easier to forgive a game for being short when it's that price. Okay. Let's go. Oh god. Floor spikes. Have I ever seen that before? I don't remember seeing it before. It's very um, cursed loot-ish. I'm not sure how much longer we're going to survive now because we're down to the last couple of hits. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm starting to have a feeling we won't even make it to the next boss, frankly. And let's bust through this lot, try and kill this swordsman, and avoid the panicking at the enormous mass of flame to the north end of the room there. Break open that chest, see what's inside. That crate. Okay, hit the switch. We can get a bit more health back here, um, as long as we don't take damage from these annoying enemies. Lots of disguised enemies in the temple, I've noticed. Some disguised as chests, some disguised as innocuous blocks. It's all very um, deceitful. Speaking of chest enemies, here they are. So, just put them down. Put down a block enemy as well. Oh god, on fire! No, no! Get off me! Okay. And uh, is this an enemy chest or a chest game? Let's attack it to find out. It's a proper chest game and we're going to get two. So we get nothing on the first attempt and we get nothing on the second attempt. My favourite. Let's break this uh, blue torch for some treasure and then move onwards. Oh! It looks like, yes! I didn't notice but we have actually got the second chest upgrade so it's actually going to be shooting at enemies for us now. So that's nice. Um, bit of extra attack certainly doesn't go amiss. It's not a tremendously effective fighter, but it's it's a nice bonus, certainly. Okay. I have to deal with this charging guy. Not stand in front of him when he charges, because that would be a serious problem. I think he does quite a lot of damage. Okay. Come on, come on. There we go. Should be able to finish him off pretty soon. Oh god, we actually took a hit. Down to the last heart. This is bad. We may not make it out of this room. Come on. Just need a blue torch or something that can drop some health for me. Come on, come on. There's health up there. Yes, okay. It's going to be alive a little bit longer. Let's bust open that. We have the French fire that drops gold when you hit it. That's alright. No complaints there. Just put this lot down. And what are we missing? Do we have to kill all the enemies? I think we have already. Uh, is there a switch? Or, oh, it's open. Okay. So I imagine these green chests are probably going to be enemies. Yeah. So let's just blast away at them. Oh no. No, no! Get away from me. Okay, bit more money. I don't know what the next tier of upgrade for the chest is because I've never reached it, but uh, you never know, we might actually manage that this time. And it might be something enormously useful. Who knows? Okay, so let's see. Yep, yeah, you can actually put flames out by getting in your chest. So. Developer was right. Who'd have thought? 
one and we get nothing. We've been having typically bad luck with chests today. I seem to have much better luck with them off camera. I don't have that many off camera runs these days, but um, when I do, I seem to have much better luck. Okay, through here. And I don't mean better luck in the sense of I perform better, I mean actually just better luck with stuff that's random. Okay, so continue fighting these. That chest could well be an enemy, so let's shoot it. Yep, it is indeed an enemy. A bit more health in the key, so we can open the door. Put down the red guys, because as you know, they're kind of dickish. I don't want to waste my time with those bastards. Okay, some more of these green little things. A bit more treasure. And hopefully we will soon come within range of the boss. But first, let's bust this lot open. See what's within. Oh god, get away. Oh, fire, fire everywhere. Oh no, and now I'm on fire. Fuck me. Okay, here we go. Right. I, sorry, I said here we go because for some reason I just felt like that was going to be the boss. Oh, more fire damage. No, no, get away from me. Down to the last hit. Oh, God. Well, we're going to... I think we'll get into the chest so we can get past the spike trap here. Yep, you can actually just go underneath it. Excellent. That's actually quite useful, considering um, like that trap is in a position where you might not be able to squeeze past it otherwise. So being able to pass underneath the spikes unharmed is very handy. Okay, that one's a genuine chest, so we'll open that. And we've got fireproof. Fire won't engulf us anymore, that's handy considering how many times it's happened. And fire damage from our bullets. As well as shrapnel. So that's good. A fire weapon and the ability to be impervious to fire. Nice combination. Unfortunately, we're now back to a mere one hit. So this could be a very, very brief um, run from this point onwards. So take out the giant swordsman without too much difficulty. And we've got some more normal sized swordsmen here. One with a pot on his head for some reason. Oh god, and he's on fire and it's just becoming carnage. Ugh. Okay, some treasure. More treasure. Oh, and plenty of hearts. God, I've been hanging on by the skin of my teeth for ages now. I mean, I think really I should have met my end some time ago, but somehow I just keep scraping by. Well, the third boss will almost certainly finish me off, because I've never got past the third bosses before. Um, don't know how to fight this thing. I don't remember what it does. Um, seems like it just stamps and maybe, yeah, occasionally shoots. I wonder, actually, now my chest actually fights as well, I wonder whether I could just stand around and let the chests fight each other. And let my chest actually take out this chest as well. Okay. I'll keep popping off shots when I get a chance. But, oh, it's so fast. It's faster than me. I don't know how I'm supposed to escape from its pursuit. Okay, come on. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. Well, it could be quite a lot more. I don't know. Oh god, it's spewing fire everywhere. Let's hide in the chest. Um, hiding in the chest seems like it might very, very, very slightly increase movement speed as well as its other effects. Okay, continue popping shots at this little shit uppity luggage. Get away. Get away. Okay, still keep landing. The odd hit here and there. And hopefully, eventually, we will finally whittle it down. Yes! Success! This is the first time I've got past one of the third floor bosses, so it's going to be our very first visit to the fourth and, from what I've heard, final floor. Alright, here we go. You ready? Let's see what we've got on offer. What the hell? 
Okay, let's um, open this. Oh, can't open it. That's what the gold keys do. Okay, well, we just have to move on, I suppose. Um, oh, is that it? So it's not even four floors, it's three floors. That's very short. Oh, well, um, apparently, if you don't have ten gold keys, the dungeon just executes you when you try to leave. But I've unlocked champion mode. Uh, don't know what that does. I would guess it's a higher difficulty level. Anyway, that's our first sort of success with Die Hunt Dungeon. Only three levels long is a bit disappointing, but even so, pretty good game all in all. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for observing me sort of completing Die Hard Dungeon for the first time. And I will see you the next time for more dungeoneering action. And we may or may not check out Champion Mode. See you then.